So hello all you guys out there on YouTube. I'm very sorry I haven't made a video in uh, quite a long time. But uh, today I thought I wanted you to see this little, uh, what should we call it, slimline PC or HTPC? Well, I'm using it as a little HTPC gaming PC at the moment. Um, the story behind this uh, PC is that it was actually my parents. Uh, however, it was causing them some problems with uh, sometimes it wouldn't boot probably uh, into Windows. So um, instead of having more air headaches with the, the PC, I decided to build them a new system, which they now got. So I got to keep the old one here, and um, I've tried to reinstall everything and uh, it didn't work so I took out the disk drive and replaced it with a new hard drive uh, 500 and uh, I think it's a 500 gigabyte Seagate Barracuda uh, 11 or model 12 I don't remember but now everything seems to work just perfect uh, it's running Windows 10 at the moment uh, activated of course and uh, here are, well, these are actually the original specs, I don't know if you can see them, yeah, uh, Windows 7, AMD Athlon, 2x2, 245 dual-core, NVIDIA GeForce 6150SE, um, and uh, 4 gigabytes of DDR3 memory. Well, I actually upgraded uh, this little machine. Uh, first, I got an AMD Athlon 2 X2 265, uh, 3.3 GHz, and uh, a GT uh, 710 from NVIDIA, 2 GB card, and it actually managed to play some games quite nicely. But uh, now I decided to do the final upgrade, which is possible in this small rig due to the small power supply. It's 200 watts or 220 watts, I think. But uh, anyhow, here are the specs for the little rig at the moment. As you can see, I'm using a NVIDIA GeForce GT 1030. It's actually from Gigabyte. Uh, it has a small, uh, I think it's a 50, perhaps a 40 millimeter fan running to keep it in cool. And uh, as you can see, I actually managed to put a decent overclock onto the card. So I'm pretty happy with that. And for the processor, I actually managed to put an AMD Phenom 2 X4 840 processor in it. It's uh, running 3.2 GHz, so it's actually almost equal to the old iconic Phenom 2 X4 955. Um, and I think it's just a tad slower than that old processor. but. At least now I have a dual car, uh, wrong, a quad core running in this little system, which is actually quite awesome. And um, yeah, these are just the temperatures, etc. Uh, it was because mainly the computer came with a stock heatsink from Acer e machines. I don't know quite who produced those uh, heatsinks, but. Uh, when uh, playing or running a benchmark or something like that, the fan would ramp up a lot. It was an 80 mm fan that would go up to 4000 RPM. So that was quite loud. So, in order to compensate for that, I did a small, uh, what would you call it, uh, ghetto mat. So, let's take out the side of the case here. And voila! And just getting the cat out of the way. And as you can see, uh, the what should we call it? It's not a north bridge or south bridge, bridge. Uh, um, but the chipset actually was passively cool, but quite uh, but got quite hot. So I put a small uh, four millimeter LED fan in there to keep it nice and cool. And the CPU cooler, which actually looks like some kind of Intel stock heatsink, 
mounted on an AMD board, quite weird. Uh, it had this uh, loud 80 meter meter blur. Jibber jabber. It had this loud 80 mm fan on it. But I decided to uh, replace it with this Arctic Cooling. Uh, what was it called? F9 92 mm PWM fan. So now it's running quiet and very cool indeed. So I'm very pleased with that. And uh, perhaps I should get some light into this machine. Back. Just had a little flashlight so you guys would be able to see what's actually running in here. Um, as you can see, oh, I don't know if you can see it, it's, uh, it's a motherboard from, I think it's an OEM from Asus. Uh, I think I recall seeing it that somewhere on the back of it. But anyhow you can see that the old fan was actually screwed into the heatsink. But uh, due to the size of this 92mm fan, it wouldn't be possible. So, I get modded it with some zip ties. don't know if you can see it there. Uh, I put the zip ties down on the heat sink and up to the fan. And my cat is very curious about what's going on here. Leo, please exit. Thank you. And back again. So, I zip tied it up here. Um, don't know if you can see that up here and down here and it is very secure doesn't move Leo please move please move thank you so and uh, actually uh, this power supply is very limited with connections and this motherboard only had one uh, 4pm connector uh, for PBM connector, so I had to uh, use some kind of extension uh, cable you can see here. So I would be able to plug two fans into a single connector right up here. So now it's running this little 40 millimeter fan and the big 92 millimeter fan, and um, it's doing an excellent job. I just had the uh, OCCT running and uh, the max temperature I got onto this uh, CPU was uh, 57 degrees Celsius. So that's quite impressive with this heatsink indeed. And yeah, here you see the Gigabyte GT1030. Actually, a very, very nice car. Yeah. It can run quite a bit of number of games compared to the old GT710, which uh, did okay, but it was struggling. Uh, this card can actually run the GTA 5 uh, pretty well in um, 1080p, uh, a mix between normal and high settings. So, um, yeah, that's actually the rig now. Um, just set it up again. And of course the specs on the side, they don't comply any longer, but um, yeah, oh, screen server's running, but yeah, this is my uh, little home theater PC for the living room I'm using at the moment, and quite happy with that, but uh, I'm making a new machine soon, which will consist also of a slimline case, um, but it will have a GTX 1060, 3GB version, and an AMD Ryzen 5 6100 CPU. But uh, that's for another time. Uh, this time I just want to say thank you for watching and uh, I do apologize for being out so late with a, uh, with a new video. Anyway, see you guys soon and have a great evening.